Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to have a look at this Volvo XC60 that I've got here for stock at Hilton Got Volvo in Downer Market. As I say, it's a Volvo XC60. It's the R Design Pro model and set off in the rather nice Onyx Black. It really does look really nice and shiny in this lovely sun. It looks great with the dark tinted windows, the chrome around the window and the roof rails, the silver wing mirrors and the grey alloy wheels and then coming round the back has a real sporty look to it with the uh, chrome tips on the exhaust and the, the styling of the rear bumper. It's a D5 engine, what I mean by that is it's a 2 litre 4 cylinder diesel engine pushing out about 220 brake horsepower. Really does look good there in this sun and there's a lovely stance to it as well. Let's open the doors and have a look inside. And looking inside it's rather nice, you've got the brushed aluminium and the chrome tip uh, on the inlays with a little embossed Swedish flag. You've got the Nappa perforated and Nappa leather uh, seats with the Nubuck uh, inlays uh, on the seat itself and the off-white piping and off-white stitching and the arm design embossed onto the seat. Leg extension on there as well, great for long journeys. Coming around the back, same styling cues, three three-point belts, eyes are fixed on the two outer seats, three independent headrests, armrest in the middle, power supply in the middle, and vents on the B pillars. Coming around the back, massive boots, 60-40 split, so when it's down it's flat and rather cavernous. And you've also got the air suspension on here, so you can lower the boot uh, and increase the size of the boot, uh, or raise the, the boot up rather nicely. Automatic tailgate, push the button, down it goes, and you get a reassuring clunk. There we go. Diesel needs no introduction. Add blue if you're not sure what it is, please feel free to ask. Get in touch. No rips or tears as you'd expect from a car that we certainly can see. Uh, and you've got on there the driver's seat. You've got electric windows all round, electric mirrors, and you've got electric seats for the driver and two stage memory settings. Let's go and sit in the driver's seat. Really nice clear digital display there. You've got the digital and analog speedo in a digital format. You've got your speed limiter and your cruise control. You can have a map in the, between the two dials if you wish, or as it is with a radio station, or your, um, which media you're listening to, or even just blank. Your auto lights, paddle shift, controls for the voice control, uh, trip computer, volume, skipping tracks, things like that. Controls for the speed limiter and uh, cruise control paddle shift, uh, auto lights and adaptive lighting, we can talk about that again. Just like uh, on your tablet at home or your smartphone, very intuitive, just press, make it bigger, scroll in, scroll out, home button if you ever make a mistake. It's got digital radio as well as FM, AM, Bluetooth to your phone, making, receiving calls, listening to podcasts, music and the like. Dual climate controls, you can have different temperature on different sides, heated front seats and heated steering wheel and really nicely the heated windscreen, great in the winter months. You've got front and rear parking sensors on here as well as your road sign recognition uh, and the like and your cornering lights. You can tune the, choose the bandwidth, you've got um, Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Now also on this car as I mentioned in the boot you can uh, raise the height and lower the height you can also change it from in here uh, and if you have the dynamic mode it really does hunker down you've got off-road mode and that will then raise it up and if you just see on there you can just see it's showing you that the car is raised, being raised um, and uh, that's lovely to see or if we choose another mode you can see that we're lowering the down and I can feel it there uh, which is really really quite clever we've got your 8-speed automatic box Start, stop, different the drive modes and your parking brake. Well, I hope you found that uh, video of the XE60 interesting. And if you want to discuss this or any of the other vehicles we've got here at Hilton Got Volvo, please feel free to get in touch. My name's Robert or any one of my colleagues on the sales department. Thank you. Bye-bye.